What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video, and this is one that I think you've been expecting. It is time for my take on the new iPhone, the new old iPhone, the iPhone SE. I thought it was gonna be called the 5 SE because essentially this thing is an iPhone 5S plus rose gold, essentially. Of course, the internals have changed here. They're gonna get better performance out of this model and the camera is better and so on. To your average buyer out there, this thing looks a lot like a much older iPhone. In fact, as you'll see, that's an iPhone 5S. That thing is how many years old? You know how you have dog years and cat years and then you have tech years. And in tech years, one year is a person's lifetime. Here we have a device that many could could confuse for something a lot older and yet people are still motivated to get it. And that is part of a bigger conversation about smartphones in general and what people are looking for. Maybe your phone is kind of more like a hat or a pair of socks or shoes or something where not everybody has the same size hands, not everybody should have the same size phone. I get that. The whole R&D department that would have existed for a smaller iPhone in a similar kind of appearance package as the 6 and 6 Plus, they got to take a nap. They got to take an extended vacation on this one because they were like, I got it. Take some iPhone 6 components, cram them into the current case for the iPhone 5S, money in the bank. And I'm not hating. I'm not saying that this, this phone doesn't serve a purpose and doesn't have a perfect customer. It certainly does. And we, we move so quickly through technology anyways that there's a case to be made for holding on to some of these iconic designs. But you cannot deny that a group of people who would have been tasked with creating a smaller iPhone, a new generation smaller iPhone, they got to take a nap on this one. That's a bit of a rant to kick off this video. Let's jump inside these boxes and check out the new old iPhone. We've got the silver model, okay. Of course, the gold. This is definitely a nice design. I do not deny that. And hey, in the world of say cars, for example, they don't remodel them every year or even every two years. When you've got an icon, you stay true to that. You stay consistent. There's your rose gold. Now, why are there two space gray? Well, that's because one of them actually has a skin on it. Matte black, stealth black, blackout, D-brand. They actually hooked up all these phones. So if you want a skin, check them out. Link in the description. And then of course, the stock space gray. And you can see how that baby looks right there. I'm having uh, deja vu. Look at this thing. Look at the way that fits in my hand. You see that? This is really what Steve Jobs was all about. He believed that the device should be able to be used in one hand. People started using these things for multimedia, uh, watching a ton of video, and they wanted bigger screens. People wanted everything in one place, and phones got better, and phones got faster. Essentially, sit down on the couch and stare at their phone all day, and they wanted a big screen to do that. There is something to be said for being able to completely operate every inch of your device with one hand. I'm gonna pick the black one and set that baby up real quick. Man, this feels small. S7 just gobbles that up. Insert SIM card to activate. The only people out there that require that, that's one thing Apple knows how to do right there. So clinical, so clean. Another thing to consider is the fact that this is it's gonna be an inexpensive phone. It's uh, 399 bucks in the world of $300 phones. $300 phones ain't what they used to be. You get a lot for $300 these days. Touch ID is still pretty good though, I gotta admit, it's quick. You can restore from iCloud backup, iTunes backup, set up as a new iPhone, or move data from Android. There it is, your iPhone SE in all of its glory. Now, the camera is one of these areas where you're gonna see an improvement. That's one thing you gotta give to the iPhones. They take great, fast pictures, no doubt about it. Everybody knows this. So the camera on the SE is the same 12 megapixel shooter that you would get in the 6S, but unfortunately, the forward-facing camera, the selfie camera, in this case, is actually gonna be a bit of a downgrade from the one that exists on the 6S. So what you're working with here in terms of battery is 1642 milliamp hours. Certainly not monstrous battery. Here's the thing, this is a really, this is a tough product to digest. Look what I got going on here. I got, I got boxes and products scattered everywhere, but it is a tough phone to digest. Instead of looking at what a small iPhone, a modern small iPhone would be, you just go back to the flagship from once upon a time. I'm not calling it lazy. It's a bit unfortunate that we don't get to see 
the execution of some new ideas from that very talented engineering team that I'm sure exists over uh, in Cupertino. No doubt they will sell a ton of these and no doubt there will be a bunch of happy users who were in love with their older, smaller iPhone that are happy now to have updated specs and a better camera. But for me, I feel like maybe we missed out on an all new, freshly designed mini iPhone. And to me, that, that might've been interesting to take a look at. And what I know at this point is there is an exclusive device inside the new 